Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the remove class attribute in jQuery. Now, in the last video, we looked at the add class attribute. However, in this example, we're going to create something slightly different and a bit more fun to demonstrate the remove class. Now, add class and remove class can take an unlimited amount of classes to be removed um, or added. So, for example, uh, in the last part, we looked at adding a class using add class, and then we specified a class name, for example, bold. If you had another class, for example, underlined, you could also supply this as well. Now, when you're using remove class, you can do exactly the same thing. Now, we're not going to be demonstrating multiple classes in this tutorial. However, what we are going to be doing is creating something a bit more dynamic, and we're going to do that using the event, um, the event handler toggle. So let's go ahead and create a span and I'm going to give this an ID of some text and I'm just going to write this is some text. Okay, so now if, if we go over to our browser, you can see that we've got this is some text. What I want to happen is when we click on this, I want the text to be highlighted or underlined. It doesn't really matter what we do, but when we click on it, I want a class to be added to it. Okay, so uh, let's go over to class.js where we have our code. In fact, no, let's first of all go over to style.css and create this class. So I'm going to create the class highlight and inside I'm going to say background yellow. So what this will do is once I apply this class to the text here, um, it'll essentially highlight it. Let's just demonstrate that now. And when we go over to our browser, you can see that the text has been highlighted. So we're going to use the add class and the remove class attributes um, in sequence using the toggle event handler once we click on this span. And then that's going to highlight and then unhighlight. So some practical use there as well as just being an example. Okay, so we've got our highlight class in style.css. Now let's go ahead and create our toggle event handler. So we need to reference the sum text span. So I'm just going to write sum text and then say dot toggle. Now inside of here, we can specify two different functions to be used uh, in sequence with each other. So we can either create these inside of this um, inside of these uh, parentheses, or we can create functions outside and then reference these inside. For now, just to get the hang of things, we'll create them inside. So I've created the function outline or the define the function and I have my block here. The second parameter, we're creating another function and we're just going to pull these down so we can work a bit easier. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is it for it to actually highlight the text. So we're going to use an example uh, as we used in the previous tutorial, but with bold, but we're actually going to apply the highlight class to some text. So dot add class once we've referenced the text here and inside of that we specify the uh, class itself so which is highlight we've named the class highlight in our CSS file now what I'm going to do is do exactly the same thing again I'm going to reference some text but this time I'm going to remove the class and in there specify the class I want to remove which is highlight now like I said before you can specify to add or remove multiple classes so you could go ahead and specify um, a bold or an underlined in here or any class that you've created so now what's going to happen is when we click on the text it's going to toggle using the toggle event handler and we're going to first of all going to add the class highlight which will add this background yellow to that text as I showed you earlier in the browser what we're then going to do is next time we press it, we're going to actually remove this class. So we're essentially just selecting uh, something or highlighting something on a page. So we'll go ahead and refresh the page. When I click on this now, you can see that it highlights. When I click on it again, you can see that the highlight disappears. Now let's go ahead and add some additional um, classes. So I'm going to say bold. And in here, I'm going to choose font weight bold. So now what I can do is when I click on it, I might want to also add boldness to it. So when I refresh, when I click on it, you can see that it's been highlighted and now it's bold. Now what's going to happen here is because we're only removing the highlight class, we are keeping the bold class um, added to this text. 
So when we click it, you can see that the text remains bold, but the highlight disappears. So now we're stuck with bold text. So you can uh, supply um, additional classes that you want to add or remove. We could go ahead and remove bold as well. So now it will go bold and highlighted and then back to normal. So add class and remove class take an unlimited amount of classes uh, that you can add or remove to them and can obviously be used for a, uh, a large uh, number of HTML elements.